Are you having an issue lining up your laser projects, getting it direct centered right where you want it? I got a trick for you. With a little bit of score marks, get you perfect alignment every single time. You don't need a camera. Don't have to mess with calibration. I got you. I'm Josh with Wrights Woodworks. Let's get started. Now, some people like to use the Lightburn camera feature to line up projects, and when it's dialed in, it's awesome. But for a lot of folks, the camera isn't always accurate and can require a lot of tinkering to just get it right. The, this score mark method is a great manual alternative. It's simple, consistent, and dead on accurate every single time without the fuss of recalibration. First, grab a scrap piece of plywood and place it securely in your laser bed. I use a lot of magnets to keep mine flat and also keep it in place so it doesn't move around. For this project, I wanna burn six plaques at once, three across with two rows. We're gonna set them up on the laser bed like this. So let's head into Lightburn so I can show you how I set this up. In Lightburn, import or create the design you'll be working with. I've imported my plaque design here. It's already sized to the four by six dimensions needed. I'm gonna use the outside line as my score mark on the plywood to allow for perfect alignment. This method will work with any shape, square, rectangle, circle. As long as you can make a score mark in the shape of your design, you'll be able to get flawless alignment. Now here's the fun part. We're gonna set this up so we can burn multiple plaques at once. First, we're gonna select our entire project. We're gonna head over to the array tool on the left-hand side of the screen. I set mine up for three columns wide and two rows tall, which means I can burn six plaques at once. Now we're going to adjust the spacing on the X and Y so there's enough room so we can line stuff up, get everything situated, and have a perfect production layout. Now that I have the six different plaques showing on the screen, I need to go in and change the names for the different recipients. Now that all the names are changed, we're going to select those outside lines that are going to be our score marks on the plywood. We're going to set that to 200 speed, 20% power, using the line setting to make those score marks on our plywood. Now back over into the laser bed, we're going to use the focus feature to focus this to the plywood so we can get some accurate score marks. Now with those six outlines selected in light burn, we're going to use the frame feature to make sure everything's just situated right in the laser bed and that the score marks will hit the plywood with no problems. Everything's confirmed, so now let's just burn the score marks and get this project moving. Now that the score marks are done, we're going to lower the bed a little bit on the Z-axis to enable enough room for those plaques to slide in under the laser head, making sure that the keyhole slots are at the top of our design. Now we can line up all six plaques according to the score marks, doing it one by one, making sure everything is accurate and lined up perfectly. Now that we have all six plaques laid out in the laser bed, don't forget to refocus. We're going to refocus that to the top of the plaque. We're going to send the laser head back to the home position. Select everything we need to burn inside light burn and let it rip. These plaques were made on the Hydra 9, which is a dual source laser, has a 100 watt glass tube and also a 38 watt RF tube. For this project, we used the 100 watt glass tube. And for the engraving, we used a speed of 500, a power of 33%, and a line spacing of 0 0.06. It got the perfect deep engrave and made it dark and look perfect once the project was complete. Now, I mentioned earlier in the video that these are cost-effective plaques. These are not solid hardwood. They are more particle board type, covered in veneer. They still laser engrave awesome and are made for laser engraving. However, it does cause a little soot around the engravings. For cleanup, get yourself a microfiber towel with some denatured alcohol and simply wipe it off. And what you have left is a beautiful, clean, engraved plaque. So next time you have a project with tricky alignment and need to get that perfect engrave, try this score mark method. It works perfect every single time. If you need to make multiples, use the array tool and do multiples at once. 
You'll save time, save material, and get perfect placement every single time. If you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, we'll be posting more laser tips and tricks in the future. Thank you for watching and have a great day.